The following is a presentation of Muddy River News. Quincy Warehouse Bargains is your Quincy home improvement store. It's the only store of its kind in the Quincy area. We offer flooring, mattresses, area rugs, dining sets, couches, appliances, and much more. And have more products to come so we can better serve the Quincy and Tri-State community. Our staff is ready to help you find what you need to make your house a home. Quincy Warehouse Bargains, 4100 North 24th Street, Quincy. Hey everybody, welcome to The Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad and joining me today we have Tierney Craig. How are you? Doing well, thank good, you. Good, good. Yeah. So, of course, a lot of people probably know you from uh, the Quincy Brewing Company, which is, of course, amazing. Everybody loves going there. We were just talking about uh, a beer you have back, which seems to be yeah. a, a crowd favorite, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Holiday so, beers. Holiday beers. They're just strong and, and awesome. But um, something else that you bring to the table, aside from uh, awesome beer, is uh, community support. And... You do it in a way that is, uh, you know, not only for downtown, but for the entire community of Quincy. And I think it's amazing. And you do this through uh, something called the Tree of Lights Christmas campaign with the Salvation Army. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this campaign, of course, I think a lot of people probably have heard of it, but can you give us kind of the skinny on, on what it is and maybe how you got involved with it? Yeah, okay. so about eight years back, we were looking as a family to do something for Christmas that wasn't just focused on giving gifts. Right. I just, you know, you get so into that and it just sucks all your time and energy. And we're like, what can we do that? We show in our kids that there's more to just Christmas. And we found um, registertoring.com through the Salvation Army where my kids could ring bells. Sure. We're like, hey, this is easy. They're, you know, at the time they were like four and six. And so, you know, they're and who doesn't there. love ringing the bell, oh, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. A little kid ringing a loud bell. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah. So it became a yearly tradition doing that. And then we realized when we started looking at the Salvation Army, like this organization is feeding people. It's giving them shelter. It's giving them a hand up. They, they have a program where um, people who just aren't able to get jobs, they can give them counseling on how to get a job. Okay. Um, you know, so it's a giving a hand out, giving a hand up and all just, um, it's a Christian organization. So they're, they're just loving people where they're at. Right. Right. And, and, and how they are. Yeah, yeah. How they are. Yeah. Supporting, which is awesome. And you and your husband, Josh, are chair. You chair this. Yeah. Right. So, yes. so it's, it's not just, is it, it's not just an event. I mean, it, it is an event, but it's throughout the whole holiday season. Right. Right. And it's coordinating. It's tell me a little bit about what kind of what you guys do. And right. What. So, I mean, it, they've been doing this for years, so they know what they're doing, but we're just jumping in to, to give whatever support we can give right. to, to tell people that maybe don't know about it okay to ring those bells right, um right. and we also have we personally at the brewery have a fundraiser coming up this sunday um, okay it's we call it our santa sunday and <clears throat> we have a santa that comes in and for ten dollars you can come and get your family your kids whoever's pictures taken with santa oh, cool for twenty dollars they can have two beers this which is which I mean, Who doesn't need two beers yeah. and Santa Claus, right? It's an experience. Yes, absolutely. Well, I think that's awesome. I didn't yeah. know that was. I didn't know yeah. That was so we're just um, all the money from that we're donating to the Salvation Army. Okay. Um, we have the best Santa around coming. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's the same Santa we had last year. Everybody's asking, and cool. he just creates this really magical experience for the kiddos. And what time is that? It's from two thirty to four thirty this Sunday. This Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I'll have to mark that on my calendar because my kids are. They still love, I mean, they love the whole experience. Oh, so yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And they also love the bell ringing. We have done that uh, a few times, and not just the bell ringing, but, of course, every bucket we walk by, we drop money in. And yeah. even if I yeah. don't, so the, I think the last time, my youngest actually called me out because I was like, I literally have no cash. I'm sorry. She said, Mom, I know there's change in the bottom of that purse. So we stood there <laughs> while I dug out my change. That's and great. And she put it in. So I'm like, it's it's all, I mean, it. It's, it's in the name of giving, especially this time of year. I think it's yeah. just amazing. That yeah, so we have a goal. It's uh, $435,000. Yeah. And people are like, whoa. But I mean, you think um, 
they they gave over um, just under 500 people a place to stay last year. I was looking at all the things. They, it's yeah, amazing. I mean, it's amazing the meals they're handing out daily. They also provide groceries, like a whole cart full of groceries for people. And this is all local? This is all local. Yeah. This is in Quincy. So yeah. people are like, I don't know if, how do I make a difference in our community? Right. This is really easy. You can... Drop money in the buckets. Right. That's a really easy way. Or you can ring the bucket, your ring the bell yourself. Right. Um, when we, a really um, powerful thing is uh, uh, there's those red kettles. Everybody you know yeah. recognizes those. Mm-hmm. If there's no one standing and ringing the bells, really no money gets dropped. Right. So yeah. by volunteering to register to ring that bell, you're inviting people to give money, and right. it makes such a difference. And I've seen the folks out there who really get into it. Um, there's a couple. I, I know there's one guy in particular, but I, I don't want to call him out, but he always dresses up. And then you have other groups who sing yes. and really get into it. So it's it's not just, I mean, of course, it's great for families to go out and show your kids that there's more to Christmas than just gifts. And, you know, right. giving yeah. back is definitely important. Um, but get some friends together. Oh, do friends, family at yeah. certain locations. I know at Farm and Home, you can bring a dog or oh, a pet. There you so, go. yeah, no. And those actually those opportunities, they they get more money if you have your kids or your pet or whatever yeah. with you. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So make it fun. Yeah. Dress up. You can, you know, sing, sing dance, yeah. I don't, whatever you want to do. Whatever you want just yeah. to make it awesome. I mean, I. Okay, so aside from the housing, so I just I want to roll through some more of those stats because even looking at that uh, blew my mind. So yeah. Quincy has a need that maybe not a lot of people understand. That there, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, of course we're a great community and a lot of people are very fortunate here, but there are people who are not as fortunate, right? And right. the need may not be as noticeable, I guess, or maybe people just may not know about it. Um, but. There definitely is a need. And last year you fulfilled so many different, like you helped so many different assets. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Right. We're talking about um, those nights spent, you know, it was under, it was under six, it was like 500 and some people, but it, I mean, it amounted to like 3000 some nights. Yeah. I mean, you, those people just don't have a bed. Right. Like, I mean, that's a big, and not only that, they're also giving money to people who are um, maybe struggling with rent or utilities right. to keep them from homelessness. People yeah. that are on that cusp that are really, you know, struggling. about there. Yeah. And so um, they, they are a well-oiled machine. They yeah. know what they're doing. So when you give to this organization, you know, they're they're taking your money and using it well. Right. They're using it well. And not only they're feeding, they're also clothing those people. You know, your basic needs. Right, right. Yeah, which is, I mean, something that a lot of us unfortunately take for granted. But it is, you know, times like this where, you know, give a little bit more, Mm -hmm. realize that we are super fortunate and that there are people out there in need. Uh, And the need may be a little more, um, a little more this year because of everything that people yeah. are going through. So I'm sure that the Salvation Army is probably seeing, um, like everyone else, kind of an increase in mm-hmm. the need for these extra resources. Right. So yeah. I would say no better time than than the present. Than to the give, present, right. Yeah, yeah. Which is awesome. And I appreciate what you guys are doing, not only with this, but also across the street. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. We love what you're doing. And, you know, as far as like, as Quincy goes, you guys are basically celebrities in my eyes. So yeah, mm, no, exactly. this is this is awesome. But I I thoroughly appreciate what you're doing. Keep up the good work. And, yeah, thanks. And, and I will give a solid shout out to, uh, if you have time, reach out to Salvation Army, reach out to Tierney or Josh and um, ring some bells, donate your time, donate your money. Do what you can. Give a little extra this season. Uh, There are people who need it. And if you can afford it, let's do it. So with that, we'll say goodbye. And uh, thank you for coming. Yeah, you're most welcome. All right. Coming up next, we'll talk to Brandon Thompson with the Quincy Community Theater. Dazzle your friends and family this holiday season and do it right with beautiful furniture and stunning accessories from Harvey's Furniture. And happy holidays from all of us at Harvey's Furniture. Harvey's Furniture, our home, your home. Hi, it's Chad from The Liquor Booth, wishing you a festive holiday season. Check out our large selection of bourbons, whiskeys, and tequilas. The Liquor Booth, 3520 Broadway, Quincy. We have all the holiday spirits you need. Welcome to the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. 
Equipped with six big screens, a new larger kitchen, and now more seating capacity, the Abbey is the place to be before, during, and after the big game. Come enjoy fan favorite Abbey Tizers, steaks, burgers, and a variety of daily food and drink specials. Can't join us? Carry out is available too. Now with a convenient drive up window to better serve you. 1736 Spring in Quincy. Opens at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. And welcome back. Joining me now is Brandon Thompson with the Quincy Community Theater. Welcome. It's so great to be here. It Thank is, you for having yes, me. Yes, of course. It's so nice to meet you. I was just telling you that I had never formally met you until now, but I love watching you on stage. You definitely have a presence and you brought that presence with you today. So oh, I appreciate wow. that. Well, thank you. And I kind of needed it. I just talked to Tierney and she's amazing and I love, you know, familiar faces, but it's always nice to have just a, a really energetic person. So I appreciate you being here. Well, thank you. Well, and I love what I do. Yes. I, so I love sharing that. That's awesome. That's awesome. So uh, speaking of what you do, uh, the Quincy Community Theater has always been a favorite of mine because you put on such fantastic uh, performances mm -hmm. and you somehow you find talent that I didn't know and I doubt a lot of people knew even existed in Quincy. And even if they don't realize they have that talent, your team pulls it out of them in ways that I really just, it's its amazing to me, so. Well, thank you. Yeah. That's, that's one of the neat treasures of community theaters. You can get these people from all different walks of life, different backgrounds, different experiences, different ages, et cetera. It's such a diverse group and you get them all together and they, they grow as a community right. because you're you're working so hard to discover this story and develop it, and you're very close to each other, right? Uh, and and you discover things about yourself. I I find it so interesting that you you learn so much about the truth through playing pretend, and that's ultimately what we're doing, yeah. right? We're just playing pretend up there, but we find ways that we're connecting what these characters are going through to our own lives nice. and the themes of that. So I think I'm I'm a better person because of theater. That is a very a very cool way to look at it and a very cool way to explain it. I mean, so one of the things I've always, my youngest should be on stage. Now she's nervous, so I need to send her to like, I know you have camps and yeah. stuff that you, you know, yeah. you kind of help, um, you know, bring out their inner theater, right? Their, mm -hmm. their inner performer. So I do need to send her to you, but she, to see kids on stage is always just flabbergasting to me, the way they get up there and remember, and I know they work so hard. So uh, just real quick, let's touch on Little House on the Prairie. So mm -hmm. that is the play that is, has it started yet? It opens this Friday opened, night. I'm going Friday night. Oh, opening night. Yes, I am. So yeah. I didn't realize it was opening night, but yeah. my friend actually invited me and I am so, so excited. I didn't realize it was opening night. That's awesome. Yeah. So, okay. So Little House on the Prairie is opening this Friday. Now let's say, so stepping back a little bit, how does it start? How does the process start when you, let's say, even pick what you're, what plays you're going to Yeah, so I've wanted to do a stage version of Little House on the Prairie for years, okay. and I've read a bunch of different scripts, and none of them really felt right. And in uh, 2009, I went to the Fox Theater and saw a touring production of Little House on the Prairie, the musical, where Melissa Gilbert, who played Laura from the television series, okay. was now playing her mother. Very <laughs> she was cool. playing the mom role. And I really, really liked it. And I had reached out to them to ask, when are the rights becoming available? And it was just a year's process yeah. saying like, don't know yet, don't know yet, don't yet, know yet. And then they finally said, hey, it's becoming available. Really? And then it took about another two years. We had already set our season and 
you know, just because you want to do something doesn't mean you get to do it right away right. whenever you want. So we look at why does it feel like it's the right time for a particular show? What does our community need? What does our organization need? And and coming off of the, the, the pandemic experience, I really wanted something at the end of the year that celebrated community, that celebrated joy, that you left feeling really good and happy about mankind and wanting to help one right. another. And so right. that's where Little House came in. That's awesome. And it's very, you know, it brings, you know, of course, nostalgia. You know, I wasn't, I didn't watch it all the time, but I do remember seeing it. Yeah. You know, my my mom watched it, my aunt watched it, my sister watched it. I was always too busy flitting around the house. But yeah. I do love, you know, the feeling of, you know, just the memories that even hearing Little House on the Prairie brings mm -hmm. back. And uh, so I think it's great that, that you're able to do it. And so let's talk a little bit about um, the performers, the stars. Can you... Yeah, we have a cast of 33, wow. and you mentioned the energy of young people. So we, we have uh, children in this, and we have adults in it. It's a really nice mix, and people who are making their QCT debuts, and also people who are making their theater debuts, right, right alongside people who have done shows for years. So it's a really nice mix Very of people. Cool. Um, Jaden Dreyer, who comes from across the river, uh, uh, she's playing Laura Ingalls, okay. and um, she was in Bye Bye Birdie in 2019 as one of our screaming teens, and now she's coming back as Laura Ingalls. Uh, I was almost said Laura Ingalls Wilder, but she doesn't get married <laughs> until did. the okay. till the end. Okay. Um, and then like Julie Guinness is playing Ma, and Julie played Mame earlier this year. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, anyway, it's just a it's a really wonderful group of people, and um, they are so kind, and they're also always early. They're ready for rehearsal before the scheduled time, and they're so enthusiastic. Yeah. And um, what's one thing that has been really really rewarding with the show is there's no template that like it's not a show that everyone knows and everyone's seen, right, you know, right. there's no, there's no cast album that people have been listening to for years and right. years and years. Like right. nobody knows what this music sounds like. So at, we're really starting from the ground up. We're making it our own. And it's pretty cool, right? It is so yeah. cool. And these people are leaning into that and taking so much pride. And so I'm so proud of this group of people that in rehearsals, we just say, Let's try this, yeah. you know, or I have an idea. Can we try Let's this? Test this out. Yeah. yeah, and they're so game for That's all of awesome. that. Awesome. The slate is kind of nice. It's a little daunting, you know, yeah. at times, but yep. when you have a good group of people who are ready to take it on, that's that's very cool. That it's idea. really the spirit of the show, I yeah. think. Yeah. yeah, you know, we're really like pioneering our own trail here yeah. and building. As I say, we're building our own little house. <laughs> that's awesome. You know, so it's yeah. it's just been a wonderful way to spend the holiday season. Right. Well, I can't wait to see it all come together on stage. On Friday. So how long does it run? It runs through the 18th. Okay. So we open Friday and then we added a performance this Saturday okay. at 2 p.m. And so the best seating availability is going to be for this Saturday at 2 p.m. So if people don't have tickets now, go for Saturday at 2. Okay. And they can get them at the door. You don't have to be a season ticket holder, right? Correct. 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 Okay. Yeah. Anyone, anyone is welcome to get a ticket for this. Um, we recommend getting a ticket ahead of time okay. um, because some performances are sold out already. You're always welcome to just try doing standby where you come to the ticket office, the box office, and see if a seat opens up. Okay. People have had great fortune with that. Otherwise, you can go online right now and pick out the seat that you want, or you can call the box office or come visit the box office in the Oakley Lindsay Center, Quincy Perfect. Community Theater. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate that. That's uh, opening this Friday, so I really look forward to it. Now, aside from Little House on the Prairie, I know, so 23 is coming very quickly. Yeah, right? it's our 100th year, actually. Really? Yeah, QCT was founded awesome. in 1923, Quincy Community Little Theater. And I almost uh, called it that when I, yes, was, I said. Yes, many I people do. do. Yeah. Many people do. No, <laughs> when we moved into the new facility in the Oakley Lindsay Center in 1995, they dropped the little. Okay. So we've been QCT, Quincy Community Theater, since 1995, but the organization has been around since 1923. And so we're really pulling out all the stops for our 
or 100th. So yeah. um, off the season ticket, our first show of the year is Disney's Moana. Oh, cool. Yeah, so our student theater is doing that. And then the first show on the season ticket is the musical Rent, oh, Pulitzer cool. Prize winning musical by Jonathan Larson. It's yeah. such a cool rock musical. Yeah. Very cool. Now those songs you're not going to be able to fudge. You're just going to. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, many people know those. Yes, they do. Know they do. Those songs. Uh -huh. um, let's see. What else? Uh, we're doing The Music Man. That's one of my absolute favorite Fantastic. shows. We're doing a stage adaptation of the movie Clue. Oh, also cool. one of my favorite yeah. favorite comedies. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we're ending the holiday season with Peter Pan. Perfect. Broad, yeah, the Broadway musical Peter Pan complete with the flying. Perfect. Um, and we'll also have, again, off the season ticket, we'll have a Midsummer Night's Dream done by our student theater program. And then also also students, but on the season ticket is The Hobbit, oh. stage adaptation of The Hobbit. Yeah. yeah so it's a, such an exciting year. That is going to be a rock solid year at yeah. Quincy Community Theater. That yeah. is so exciting. Now, when you, just a couple more questions, just because I'm super curious. So when you have these plays, uh, these performances lined up, do you already have performers, a cast in mind, or do you, no? No, it's okay. a huge risk, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's yeah. a huge gamble. I think people ask that or assume like when they see someone in a show, they think, oh, they must have picked the show for that person. Right. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I will admit there are times when you've, you've got a show scheduled and you think like, oh, of the people I know, who do I think could probably play these parts? Well, for, sure, for sure. I don't know if that ha it has ever actually happened has that way. Has it worked way. out like that? Yeah where That's you think, oh, maybe so-and-so could play that part. And then they don't audition. And you think, what are we going to do? Well, oh. someone someone else came in. And you're like, oh, I'm so glad that person Thank came in. Goodness. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. So uh, I think people want to think about the drama of theater and think like it's precast or like they just pick their friends or whatever right. you know that's just yeah. drama no that's not that's reality not, that's not because it. ultimately we want the best show sure. and we're looking for people who we think are going to um, connect to the story connect to one another right. be easy to work with um, and so it's anyone is welcome right. and that's one thing that is so exciting about the work at QCT is that these people can come in who have never stepped foot on a stage and they could be the lead in the show because they are just naturally gifted. They right. have the raw talent and they have the heart to learn. Sure. And they can work alongside people who have been doing shows for years. So and, I encourage people who have who have always wanted to do it, yeah. come give it a try. Yeah. I don't have the guts for it, I don't think. But it's really just my singing voice. Bob will tell you it's just not not there yet. But anyway, no, I think it's amazing what you what your entire team, what Quincy Community Theater is doing. Uh, again, one more question. So when these... Uh, cast members come on or when they're selected, how often or how long do they rehearse? How long do they practice? What is kind of the... It, it kind of averages out to about six weeks. Okay. It's actually, it never feels like enough time, You're really. Right. Yeah, that's a very <laughs> short amount of time. Yeah, um, and they learn so much. And, and it's always very scheduled, so you know exactly what time you're in, what time you're out, okay. um, what you're going to be doing that day. You're handed a complete schedule at the first rehearsal, and we're pretty good at sticking to that. Um, so we make really good use of people's time, but they might have rehearsal. Usually it's like 7 to 10. Okay. And maybe not every night, but of course right now we're in that but phase it's where yeah, it's, I mean, it's every it's night. hard work, and I can it imagine is. the and friendship And someone once too. said, there will never be a good time. Right. And I thought that was really good advice because someone always says, oh, I'm just so busy. I'm so busy. I want to do right. it, but I'm so busy. And someone said, there will never be a good time. There's you just have time. to say, it'll be worth it. This is my priority and I'm doing it, yep. right? And I was going to say the friendships that are forged, I can imagine, are just... Yes, and we've had many yeah. people get married really? as well, and they've met their spouse. Get out of town. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I would assume, you know, after six weeks and three-hour days and constant togetherness and learning and growing, I... I I mean, I can imagine how that would be yeah. a pretty cool place. But to there be. are some very special bonds that yeah. are formed. It's That's really excellent. special. Well, I can't wait to see it all uh, come to life on stage this Friday with the opening of Little House on the Prairie. The musical. The musical. I can't yeah. wait. This is going to be so exciting. Thank well, you. Well, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate I it. I loved it. Thank you. It was so wonderful to talk with you. I'd love it. Nice thank to you. Talk to you too. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you back here tomorrow with more Daily Muddy. Muddy River News. Our home, our news.